and he's the leader of this organization. You don't well, let's take a look at these houses. Let's take a look at this show. So, yeah, let's do it. No, we're not going to do it. We are going to do it. Because if no, you are not. being accountable to what the rules are, why no, should we? You know what? This inter this discussion. No, it's not. And I'm going to tell you something else. Here's another thing. We had an ice cream last week, no, two weeks before, right after Christmas, right before Christmas. And the codes for the county and the city say that the streets and the sidewalks have to be cleared or de-iced within 24 hours of an ice storm. Two days later, two days after the ice storm, here's what the sidewalks look like. When I asked to have somebody go out there to remove the ice, I was told nothing. I was not returned a phone call. And on Monday of the same week, five days later, after my father had slipped and fallen, he's 87 years old because the streets and sidewalks had not been taken care of, Mr. Scoble says to me, we are not responsible for that because we only have to have four inches of snow before we do anything. You don't even know the laws of the city, and you're sitting on this board and telling me what to do? The law says within 24 hours you're supposed to remove all the ice from the sidewalks. All of it. How am I supposed to live up to the standards of this neighborhood in compliance when you don't? You're supposed to set an example. You're supposed to set an example for everybody in this community, and your house looks like something in Rockville Town. All right, well, hopefully the forum is over. Don't sit here and pass judgment on other people and their problems when you don't handle them yourself. And I will see you in court.